and we were 35 miles east of Clemson, and we were about 100 miles uh, west of Columbia. So if it's a chicken or a tiger, I don't care anything <laughs> about it uh, as far as football is concerned in the state of South Carolina. What we understand tonight, we're going to be looking at a team that has run heavy. Believe it or not, they, they line up in the old wishbone formation. And it's just old school, and they're going to pound it, pound it, pound it. I was looking at the field, uh, Joe, as I come up. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen a football field that the grass was as high as the grass is out here on this football field. And, and what that tells me is that, number one, it's purposeful. That's right. They want to keep a slow track, and what they want to do is pound the rock, and uh, they just want to run the ball. They're not interested in throwing the ball a lot. And, and when you when you see a, a uh, what we would call a slow field, uh, then you're just going to see that that's what you're going to get. Somebody's not interested in just running up and down the field. They're just going to control the clock. They're going to try to get three yards in a cloud of dust or or a, a handful of grass or whatever. They're just going to say our guys are bigger, stronger. And we are going to out technique you. So Bacon County better strap on its, uh, right. you know, its chin straps tonight and get ready. It's going to be an old fashioned slobber knocker. But you know what? We've not backed down all year when it comes to physicality. We yes, may not, not be as big as the people that we're playing, but we'll be ever, ever more as physical. We, uh, the, the clocks have wound down. We're going to take just a minute. Go back to the uh, studio for a couple of more uh, commercials to talk about our sponsors, and then we'll come back, get ready for the kickoff as your Bacon County Red Raiders take on the Metter Tigers. You're listening to Everything That Rocks, 101.9 The Rocket. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes. Or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Football joke, because it's just about to get underway. I'm ready, Travis. <laughs> you know, we see these uh, homecoming floats in the end. They got us for their, their homecoming game, so I hope we can put a little upset in here tonight. I do, too. And we kind of pooch kick it, and they're going to come out to about the 28-yard line. They're on 28-yard line. Ronaldo, excellent kick, kicked it over the head and just kind of let it settle down in there, and we, uh, we cover it very well. So it's going to be first and 10 from the 28 we got a new middle linebacker. Yeah. Yeah, C.J. Preston, who uh, one of the finer wrestlers around, and uh, he's, he's played wide receiver. He's a junior, and due to injury, they've kind of took him and plugged him in at middle linebacker, and the coach says, you know, he does what we tell him. He's tough. He's, he likes contact. Sounds like a linebacker to me. Yeah, he's not the biggest player on the field, but he sure does have a lot of heart. He sure does, and we uh, – uh, come out, Garrett sets the edge as they run straight at us. That's what we're expecting. And they get about a four-yard gain. It's going to be second and about six from the 34-yard line. Very physical run from Metter right there. When uh, he come around the edge and on that run, you know, after contact, he got another about three yards. So they're, they're going to uh, pound us hard tonight, just like you said, Travis. They are. 
I got a lady that's standing right in my point of vision right here, and her her uh, shirt oh. says "Football What." I'm here for the band. Where well, Red Raiders <laughs> met him. <laughs> yes. He come in on a dive, and uh, he got met at the line, and we stood him up and uh, drove him back. So. Going to be they, third down and about three. So he did get a little bit of, uh, what, two-yard gain on that play, but uh, he, he was met by a host of Raiders. This is our kind of football. That's right. Especially on the defensive side. We like it good, hard, and physical. And we're just stepping everybody up, and they're going to turn and pitch it. Garrett's got to turn him inside. He's going to get a first down. <clears throat> he falls forward for about a five-yard gain. Just a simple sweep. They turn and sweep it, and uh, you know what? They've decided that simple is easier and better. That's right. And that's what they're going to do, and that's what Coach told us. Coach Langford said they're not anything fancy about them. They're up to the 42-yard line. Their 42-yard line with 10:25 left in the first quarter. Big fullback, big fullback here. Good looking kid. They got too. twins to the top, and they're going to turn and try to throw oh, it, and he's please. hit. Wow, T.J. Ham came in on a blitz off the edge, and their quarterback, a little left-hander, he drops back to throw it, and when he did, we smoked him. One of their receivers dove for that ball. He almost uh, got him a little fingertip grab right there, but they called it incomplete. Second and 10, that's good for us. That's good for us. We can make them play behind the sticks tonight rather than second and five. If it's second and 10, we're, we're doing pretty good. Travis, I've watched film on these guys, and – I don't think that they've thrown 10 passes all season, but right here out the gate, they're going to go ahead and try to throw the ball to see if they stick to the run game or oh. they open up a little bit. Yep, and they're just going to they're gonna pull and kick and pull and kick and student body right, student body left. It's going to be third and one, and our linebackers are going to have to clear. I don't. I guess uh, all I'm looking at is the edge, just setting the edge, and we set it, but we don't have anybody filling in. Uh, once Garrett, he comes across to the strong side, he hits the guy that's pulling, turns them back inside, but we just haven't been able to stop him. He's going to turn to hand it off. He gets the edge on us. Boy, they are setting that edge very, very well. Yep, that's what they're going to do. And he goes forward for about an 8- or 10-yard gain into our territory on the 42, 43-yard line. It's going to be first and 10 meter. Hopefully, defense can make some adjustments here, uh, Coach, and we can uh, we can get some of that linebacker core to, to come in and make a stop because they are definitely setting a hard edge on us right now. Yeah, we knew it was coming. They've not they got twins down here to the top. And they're gonna turn and hand it off, and we stopped. Well, we nope. I thought we stopped him. We're not gonna be able to let him get those kind of yards after after contact. The old yak. So he, he ran into a wall when he come through the line, but uh, unfortunately uh, no Red Raiders wrapped him up and he went for an additional uh, about a good four yards there. Right. And it's going to be second and four, second and three and a half. They're on our 35-yard line, on Bacon County's 35-yard line. 8.38 in the first. This type of game right here where you just run, 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 it sure does eat up a lot of clock. Very quickly. And he breaks up, uh, their, their fullback breaks open into the middle and gets about a 10-yard gain. Run right behind the center. They've not shown that a lot, very little, but they run right behind the center and get about a 10-yard gain. They're down to our 26 or 27-yard line. And we're going to have to stop them some way, somehow. They're just saying, mano y mano, yeah. our man is tougher than your man. Right that now, offensive line looks pretty good, to be they honest. Do. They're big. Garrett blows it up, but guy steps inside. We miss another tackle. Then we're able to come in and stop him, maybe for a loss. A little tall sweep to the outside and, and forced him to cut in. And, and just when he crossed the line of scrimmage, uh, we were able to make a good stop right there, Travis. Yeah, little or no gain. They're showing about a half-yard gain. Maybe just uh, the momentum got him a little bit. They're on our 26, 25-and-a-half-yard line. 
7.31 left. Got a single receiver to the top and bottom. A full back, and he hands it off, and he's open. And uh, C.J. Preston tackles him, but after about a seven or eight-yard gain, man, oh, man, it's going to be third and three. Boy, that's been the story so far. Third and three, and they, they roll off about five. Yep. But I can tell you where they're at right now. It don't matter. They got two plays to get three yards because he's not going to, unless their kicker's out of this world, he's not going to try to kick one right here. He's going to try to, the way they've been running, he's going to try to get uh, get seven. Travis, one thing about this Mater team, too, uh, they've, they've got a pretty good bit of depth on the sideline as well. Yeah. He's going to turn and throw it. Oh. And uh -oh. Shamad. Oh, oh, it should be offensive interference. He turned. And held him. Yeah, he turned and grabbed our uh, defensive back, Shamad Brinson, who had him covered. And uh, Shamad was breaking for the ball. And, and their receiver reached and grabbed the, the shoulder pads of Shamad to keep him from intercepting. It should have been interference. No doubt about it. It should have backed him up 15 yards. And well, they'd be quick to call us if we'd done that. Absolutely. And there's two refs on that side of the field over there. Travis and neither one of those guys wanted to see that uh, that penalty. No. Nope. They're going to stack it to our left, and they're going to come to our left. Going I can about guarantee you, we should. Oh, they got a holding on them. And they stopped him. Oh, Garrett Raiders Anderson stood him up. Stopped. Yep. We're well, just going to be our ball anyway. Big stop for the Red Raiders. Holding. That's right. Let's see if it was fourth down and they didn't get it. So we decline. We, should we decline it and it's our ball. That's right. What a stop by your Red Raiders. How about that? First down, red. That's we hadn't even talked like. about our uniforms tonight. We got red hats, white shirts with black numbers and black pants. Boy, we look good. Not black look. socks and black cleats. <laughs> <laughs> look kind of sporty. I like it. Um, six minutes and 30 seconds left. We're on about the 19-yard line of Metter. Travis, those helmets this year, I, I love that, uh, the old-school Red Raider look, and uh, it's, it's been exciting all season uh, to me, and especially the beginning when we got those helmets, uh, for the fans and everybody to see those. We're going to hand it off to, there oh. goes Xavius Bell. This is about as wide open as he's been all year. He's running down the oh. sideline. Oh, and they barely kick him out. They're going to say that he stepped out on uh, the 43-yard line of Metter. We finally learned the cutback lane. That's right. We've seen the cutback lane, and uh, Xavius took it, and he went left and then broke it back to his right, and when he did, it was green grass. And we are inside uh, Metter territory, and we're coming in a hurry. Going to be first and 10 from their 42-yard line. Oh, we, we're a little off sides. He's not going to call it. Nope, he didn't call it. Going big, going big. Oh! Within a foot. Uh, nice pass. <laughs> Just Cooper a little Brown. out of the reach. Yep, Cooper Brown throws about a 20-yard uh, pass to uh, J.P. Peterson, and it was a foot away from his fingertips. That's a play where you wish you could see a player uh, uh, dive out and, and make a little effort effort on it, but he may have not have found the ball before uh, he realized it. It was that close. Hand the ball off to Xavius. He's up the middle. He's pushing. Got about a three- to four-yard gain, maybe a five-yard gain. Depends on where they spot it. Pretty liberal spot out here. Travis, I can't believe uh, this uh, side referee right here we're lining up off sides. A foot, yet, a at foot least, a good foot. And he is yet to call it. And our wide receiver's not checking with the ref either uh, to make sure he's good. Uh, so hopefully we can continue to get away with that for the rest of the night. We turn and hand it off to Xavius. He, oh, we got a, oh, he, there's a flag in the middle. Looks like it's going to be a hold. Always where it holds at. I thought I saw a flag come in. That's going to back us up. It would have been a first it is. down. It's right in the center of the field. Yeah, unless somebody slaps somebody in the head, it's going to probably be a, a holding on us. 
Per, yeah, holding on us. Going to back us up after a good play. That's one reason we were open, I guess. Took away a good run there by Xavius Bell. Them self-inflicted wounds, boy, especially when you're trying to find some rhythm on offense. That's just a killer. Yeah, now, Make it, what, third and about 14? 14 yards, yep. <clears throat> Cooper comes out, five minutes and 26 seconds left. Cooper comes out, he, he's running back in two. We got twins to the top. Got a little bit of the old wing T look here. We're going to hand the ball off, and he cuts up inside. Oh, he's one step away. Did we fumble I the ball? think we did fumble it, but he may have called him down. They're calling it down, fourth down. We're going to get away with that one. And we're going to punt it. Hopefully we can uh, we can get a good snap right here. That's been our, our Achilles heels. Our On our special teams has been our snaps. We can pin him in down here deep to the goal line. And uh, one thing about high school football, uh, it's always dangerous, these punts, is somebody muffing the punt down here. That's true. Call, are you calling it? I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Sound like you're calling it. 441 left. We're putting from our, from their, uh, from Metter's 44-yard line. Good snap. Kick is Kicks up. it good. He, he angles it. And, we've and got we're going to let it roll. Yeah, go up there and touch it. And it's going to roll inside the 10-yard line. We're going to take a Burt CPA timeout. You're listening to Red Raider Radio on 101.5. They were just about to run a play, and we weren't set. So we're going to go back, take another timeout. Uh, you're listening to Red Raider Radio on 101.9 The Rocket. At Family Vision Care, we believe life is all about your vision. Family Vision Care is the leading provider of optometry services and vision care products in the Alma community, and we want to help you achieve and maintain a clear vision for years to come. Doctors James McQuaig and Blake Hutto and their staff provide award-winning eye care service for Southeast Georgia. With the newly constructed office filled with state-of-the-art equipment, they can diagnose and correct your vision with detailed accuracy. Visit www.fvcalma.com. Red Raider football, but you've also got Georgia uh, Bulldog football and you got the Atlanta Falcon football. We're just a regional man right. when it comes to football coverage on 101.9 The Rocket. Tomorrow morning, Georgia football coverage starts at 1130 with the game at 330. Metter takes a snap. And they're going to turn and just hand the ball off. And uh, we meet him in the hole, but he's got the kind of got momentum and he falls forward for about a three or four yard gain, actually about a five yard gain. When we met him in the hole, we met him about two or three yards Number 33 there for uh, Metter. He uh, almost said clips, and that, that orange is just throwing me off. But Kind of makes me sick, too. Yeah. Bud. So number 33 for Metter, he, uh, he's got a very low center of gravity and some, some powerful legs because he, uh, he never stopped pumping those legs and got a good, good gain on that drive. He probably weighs 185 pounds, but, man, just like you said, he's, he's maybe five foot eight. They're going to turn and hand it to him again, and he breaks it out. We take a bad angle. Thank God for Shamad Brinson. Our safety comes up and took, some, took a terrible angle. And uh, when he did, he, he broke off th number 33 for them Travis, pretty quick. Uh, we made him pay for it at the end there. We, one went low and one went high. And he he kind of limped back to the huddle after that one. Yeah, it won't take many of them. They kind of bring him over to the side. I, look, I think they did. Looked like they did. No, he, he's nope, back in. He's, he's back in there. In. He's wobbling. He's... He had a little length in his step. 
and we are stacking it up. We got five people on the box. The problem with that is if you don't stop him right up front, if he gets into the second level, you got trouble on your hands. And uh, they run straight ahead for about a four-yard gain. They're on uh, their own 36, 37-yard line, three minutes left in the first quarter. So far, Travis, uh, we – it's kind of toe to toe. They they making some good drives on us, and we made some good drives on them. We just we're gonna see who uh, who's got the most gas in the fuel tank here. Right. <coughs> we need some of our senior, our big boys, to come up big. We need Trey Mobley to have a big night tonight. They're gonna run away from him. They hand it off, and boy. And they just like we said when they get into the. When they break that line of scrimmage, if we don't stop them right up there the way we're stacking it, then our secondary's got to come up, and we're not built to take that kind of pounding. No, that fullback laid a lick on our safety. Sure did. Uh, he lowered that shoulder, and uh, he, he made him uh, earn that tackle. First and 10 from Metter's 46-yard line. They take it from the nine. They're on nine. It's first and 10 on their own 46. Two minutes and 16 seconds left in the first quarter. A little counter, we see it, read it, and we stop it, but only after about a five-yard gain. It looked and like there was a little confusion on that play from Metter's standpoint. Yep. Big Trey Mobley stopped him. I think the confusion was all the pulling and stuff that was going on. It was a, about a four-yard gain. It's going to be second and uh, six, <clears throat> and they're sitting dead on the 50-yard line. Got twins to the top, got a fullback with a long setback, and they're going to turn and hand it. They're just powering us. That's just what they're doing. And that was a not a very good effort on our cornerback's part. He just kind of olayed the guy. If you don't like contact, friend, you don't need to be on a football field. Yep. Refs missed a hold there, too, on uh, our number one, Garrett Anderson. Uh, he had him by the shoulder pads. and. And they're on the our 35-yard line, a minute and 28 seconds left. They run out of bounds, about a 15, it's first and 10. Travis, we need something big to happen here. We need to turn over. Yeah, we or, need to tackle somebody. That's right. They go again. They're just they're just beating us at the line of scrimmage. We're we're reacting rather than pressing it and trying to get into their backfield and blow things up. We're just, it looks like we're taking on the block and all these little tailbacks needs just to crease. Yeah, and they're about uh, a six yard gain. And they're quick off this snap to, to put the ball in the in the back's hands. So you don't have very much time to, to have any disruption back there. Here again, their splits are not very big. But they're about six inches apart. And they're just gonna line up and smash you. And bounce to the outside. Yep, and we drive him out of bounds. Garrett Anderson takes him and drives him out of bounds. But it's going to be close to a first down, I think. Very close. It's going to be third. They keep moving that stick. They're going to keep clank cranking the clock, too. 45 seconds left. It's going to be first down. And where they spot the ball is on... Uh, Metter 29, I believe. No, it looks like they're on our 24-yard line. No, you're right, 24. They're on our 24-yard line. 34 seconds left in the first quarter. And we finally meet him in the hole. I don't know who that was, but we mashed him. That Christian Gurley, number 73. And number 54 for us. Um, so 54. Dylan Parker, 10th yep. grader. Christian Gurley. Uh, 11th grader, correct? Yes. About a two-yard gain. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. We're going to take a Burt CPA timeout. You're listening to 101 point. Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales is located US 1 South in Alma, Georgia. Andy specializes in late model cars and trucks with financing available. Andy has been in the automobile business for 30 years and over 10 years in Alma. Come experience the hometown friendly service at Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales. 
Like them on Facebook for the latest deals. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent. And the company that stands behind them. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. about the uh, our 22 yard line they turn and hand it off we got him stopped and he stutter steps and then he drives forward this big fullback they've got we we actually penetrated and uh, he just kind of took a step to his right and it's going to be third down and about three and a half third and about three and a half big play we had exactly the same situation down on the other end they flopped in now due to the quarter change Travis, what happened at the beginning of that play is when the, the running back ran into the quarterback. That's what caused him to have to do the little stutter step to the side there, and he ran right into the quarterback. Come on, guys. Get down and get ugly right here. Don't let him get in your pads. Oh, and he, he runs into again. him again, and this time he does it. We're going to stop him. It's going to be uh, for about a one-yard gain. And uh, That was a big tackle. Uh, trying to see who that was on the outside. It's going to be fourth down. It's going to be fourth and about one and a half. That was Trey Mobley uh, that just punished that fullback. He's coming off the field. He, uh, Yeah, Trey got him. He got under those pads, and he picked him up off the ground and just drove him into that turf. And I'm thinking right here they're going to run number 33. Where I'd sell out. And he's going to get the first down. <coughs> we made contact at the line of scrimmage, but he kind of dove forward and managed to get the first down. He did. We're going to have to get him about third and four or five instead of third and two. It's going to be first and ten, uh, looks like, from about the 13 or 14-yard line. We're looking all the way across the field. They're on the far hash mark. Man, they are just methodical. They're just methodical. They don't do anything fancy. And we grab him. So we got in the backfield pretty quick on that play, Travis, mm -hmm. and uh, was able to get a hand on an ankle. Right. And uh, kept him to a, about a one-yard gain. That's right. Now watch the pitch here. We're kind of closing up that middle. They're going to turn around and do a student body right or left. Here it comes. Maybe he'll pitch it behind him. <laughs> there has been some mix-ups uh, with the tailbacks and the fullback running into the quarterback. They got double tights. Is that a double tight situation? Yes, it is. He's going to throw the ball. Timeout better. We're going to take a Burt CPA timeout. You're listening. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Quarterback's going to try to turn and throw it, and he's open, and he's going to run it. 
And he, we string him out, string him out. We got everybody covered, and he keeps running until he gets about a five or six yard gain, and it's going to be third down. And guess what? Three. Yep. They're going to say third down and two. But it looks like a long two. The ball is on five. Five yard line. Dead on the five. <coughs> we and they're gonna of course they've got two plays here to score. We better get set because here they come and they're gonna hand it off to 33 and he's gonna go into the end zone. And with eight minutes and 36 seconds left in your second quarter, Metter scores on just a power play. Here again, they're not doing anything fancy. They're just running straight at us. And our biggins can't stop their biggins. And that's basically what it's boiled down to. I don't know of any type of adjustments that we can really make. We've just got to start playing fundamental football, getting off of our blocks and, uh, and making plays. They line up for the extra point. And he kicks it. That's good. It looks like it's good. Eight minutes and 36 seconds left. Your score, Metter seven, Bacon zero. You're listening to 101 point. Normally we have a sideline report with Bennett, Bennett, and Johnson, but old Joe's up here with us tonight in the booth, and we don't have anybody on the sideline, but we do want to thank Bennett, Bennett, and Johnson. They're with us every year, and uh, they sponsor our sideline report. So thank you, Bennett, Bennett, and Johnson. And they pooched the ball much like we did. Garrett Anderson's going to take it, and he's going to go straight up the field. Garrett's got some speed, and he's up to the 38-yard line and your Bacon County Red Raiders are going to take over. Can you believe that we went uh, a quarter, uh, one whole quarter and a quarter of another quarter, and uh -huh. we've only had the ball one time? And like you said earlier, Travis, uh, when you face these uh, run teams, it, it, they control the clock, and, and it gets away uh, from you very, very quick if you're not careful, if you cannot stop them. Uh, we may only see the ball five or six times right. tonight. So you have got to take advantage of it when you uh, when you get possession. Yep. We don't need to get in a hurry. We still got plenty of time. This is a little bit of an odd look right here. We shift Xavius over. I don't know what this is. We're going to pull and kick, and Xavius has got a little bit of a hole, and he goes forward for about four and a half or five yards up to about the 43-yard line. Had a little look like we used to run that horseman, but we had a back back there. Uh, I'm sorry, it's at the 42-yard line. On the, it's on the uh, the north end of the 42-yard line. It's going to be second and about six. I like that play. We're going to line up the same way. We pull both players to kick out to the left. They're lined up to the right. We turn and hand the ball straight up the middle, and he's tripped up and falls forward maybe for about a yard and a half or two-yard gain, and it's going to be third and a long four, third and about five. I'm sorry, third and about five, four and a half. Metter leads Bacon County seven to nothing with seven minutes and 30 seconds. Third down, four to go. We've, we've got to do something here, Travis. Well, their defense is very rested because they haven't seen very much out of us tonight. This is brutal football. You just got to be able to take advantage. And we throw the ball out to Wiley. He's going to have to make a move, and he does it. They know what's coming and drops us for no gain. It's going to be fourth down, and I fourth and four. So did the safety come down on him up there? Because he had we had two guys uh, from Metter had him covered up. Uh, well, I don't think uh, I don't think our other wideout blocked anybody. 
and uh, he was kind of enjoying the play from behind watching it. Uh, and uh, We're going for it. We're going to try to get him to jump here. Maybe. Call a timeout. We're going to call a timeout. You had it called right. We're going to take... At Family Vision Care, we believe life is all about your vision. Family Vision Care is the leading provider of optometry services and vision care products in the Alma community. And we want to help you achieve and maintain a clear vision for years to come. Doctors James McQuaig and Blake Hutto and their staff provide award-winning eye care service for Southeast Georgia. With the newly constructed office filled with state-of-the-art equipment, they can diagnose and correct your vision with detailed accuracy. Visit www.fvcalma.com. Georgia takes on LSU tomorrow. Pre-game show starts at 11.30 in the morning, kick off at 3.30. It's going to be a war out at Death Valley in Baton Rouge. That's going to be a good game tomorrow, Travis. We run the punter back out, and Ronaldo's fixing to take the snap and uh, kick us. Hopefully, hopefully he can kick the ball deep. Good kick. He angles it to the sideline. Oh. It kicks back on us. And this old big high field, you're not going to get a lot of roll out of it, and it's going to fall about the 32-yard line. I think that's where it's going to be. You're correct, Travis. That's where they're marking it as on uh, 32 or 33-yard yep. line anyway. And... Uh, 621 I left. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they marked it on the 33. Right. And just like that, three play, four plays later, their their offense is right back on the field. We got to have a huge stop, a turnover. We need something to go our way right here. And we bottle him up. This is where you'd like to see one of those tall sweeps get put on the ground and somebody oh, yeah. scoop and score. The big play that last uh, last series where they scored was when they rolled the quarterback out, and we had everybody covered but the quarterback. And he's a little old guy. What is he, 5'6", maybe? Well, he's about 155 pounds, a little left-handed guy, and he just kind of darted in there. He reminds me a lot of um, Matt Thrift as far as size. He doesn't have the speed of Matt Thrift, but he, he's a lot of uh, – similarities to uh, Bacon County's Matt Thrift. Yeah, and there we go. We've stopped them now two plays in a row. They've got some positive yardage, but little positive yardage. It's going to be third and seven, third and a long six. Let me say that. Five minutes and 28 seconds left in the first half. We need to get the ball back here, and we need to score to get this thing back even at halftime. They, they've kind of hit us with their best shot, you know, I don't think they're going to surprise us with anything now. They've really not, not established that they can throw the ball. Now we've just got to come up and make them, uh, make them pay. Third and seven. We got one lone safety, and they are going to roll it, and they're going to try to throw out wide. Gee. And How? we uh, knocked the ball down. It's yeah. Go ahead, call it. Should have been a block in the back right there, Travis. But we make a big stop. But we had a guy that broke through the line and was coming to the quarterback, and uh, one of their offensive linemen turned around and pushed him, pushed pushed him from behind. He fell down right to the quarterback's feet, <laughs> and uh, the, the white hat didn't call anything. For the first time tonight, it looks like Metter's going to line up in punt, a punting situation. I don't know, don't know much about their special teams. We're about to find out though. But what happened, we did put pressure on the quarterback there and caused him to throw it way up in the air, and, and there was a host of Red Raiders to get in there and try to make that play, but unfortunately, uh, met her wide receiver batted it down. Here comes Anderson. Got a left-footed kicker, and he kicks one with a roll. Pick it up, Xavius. Uh, I thought he dropped the flag on us, but he didn't. And we're going to get the ball at the 40-yard line with 441 left in the half. we got an opportunity right here. We've had pretty good field position. We've just got to be able to, to block them enough to get some, get some yardage. And our Red Raiders, we've done well this season when we've got a short clock. 
uh, we, we seem to, when we go to a hurry up offense, we move the ball pretty well. So well, we've got to quit throwing to the sides and we've got to press the ball down the field. And I know what goes with that. Uh, but uh, everybody knows we're going to try to throw east and west. Xavius makes a great a play. Hurdle. Yeah, and he's going to fall forward close to a first down. It's going to be just a little bit short. Now, Travis, tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, we may have got a little lucky there on that, but high school player is not supposed to, his feet leave the ground, uh, and he hurdled the line there. So, uh I don't know if that's what it's talking or a, about. Or more of like a corner where you've got a, a back coming around to the outside and he hurdles a, over the top of a player. But, right. I uh, think this was just jumping up over the top of somebody that was on the ground. We've got that same weird set. And Xavius makes a move in the hole, falls forward. It's going to be close. Uh, it's going to be third and about a foot. We, we gained about six inches on that play on that drive we've got to get uh looks like we've got to get dead on the 50 and we're a nose away from it third and a nose and if you've ever seen my nose it's third and a long nose <laughs> <laughs> 327 left staying in the shotgun we bring in the big package we just got to hit somebody in that big package there goes Xavius, and he gets a first down, and he's fighting. I tell you what, if everybody play with the kind of enthusiasm Xavius is playing with right here, we can turn this thing. He's trying. He's working his butt off, excuse me, radio, uh, to try to make something happen. Uh, number one, Garrett Anderson out there uh, uh, had good blocks on the outside to help him uh, get exactly. to that corner. We need everybody to get that kind of mentality. Let's hit somebody. Come on, man. Come on. I like Wiley out here in a long, right by himself. And Cooper has the arm to get it to Wiley. And there goes Xavius. And they meet him in the hole. He gets about, about a yard gain. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. The clock's ticking. We are on uh, Metter's 43-yard line. We're going to have to go up here at some point. We're going to have to try to throw the ball, I think. There we go. And that's who he's going to. And they're going to intercept. Nope. But no, he drops it. He just threw it a little bit. We actually, the receiver run a good route. He was had some. Had some separation on the tailback. The ball was just thrown a little bit short, and th their guy high-pointed it. Uh, the defensive back high-pointed it, and uh, Wiley made a good, uh, done done a good job just making sure they didn't he intercept. Did. And he kind of got under him right there as they were coming down and, and caused uh, that guy to fall backwards, and he, he fell kind of on his head, his, his shoulders there, and the ball come loose. If he can look this safety over and hit JP on a slant, he rolls it out. Oh. Big Trey Mobley catches the ball. How about that? Mobley's play? rolling down the field. Oh my goodness! It's got to be a face mask. Let's we'll see what play. he calls right here. No, oh, they're looking at us. They're going to call something. I'm sorry for going wide on you. Let's see what he calls. Oh. Targeting? Blindside blocks is what they're calling. A minute and 58 seconds left. Should be a first down, right? That was the first time I've seen them throw the ball to Trey Mobley. What a play call. What a play call. Is that an 18-yard penalty? So that'll bring up third and four. Yep. Man, we just can't. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see it. I don't know if you guys saw no, it. I didn't it see nothing. It happened down here, uh, the Mater's players, it happened on the side. If it happened, it happened 15 yards behind the play. 
and I don't know why in the world we would do something like that. I mean, we've seen Jeff Davis give us the game, and here they come, and uh, they they knew what we what we were running. They just stepped across, turned and pitched, and it's going to be fourth down. We got to go for it. Minute and 31 seconds left. We got one timeout left. It's a little too far to kick a field goal. Where are we at on the 37? Yep. That's going to be a 47, that's about a 53, yeah. 54 yard field goal. And we're, evidently that may be exactly what we're doing. We're letting the clock run down. He's going to try to kick it. And we're going to call our last time out. And that's exactly what we're going to try to do. We're going to let him kick it. We're going to take a Burt CPA timeout. You're listening to 101.9 The Rocket. Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales is located US-1 South in Alma, Georgia. Andy specializes in late model cars and trucks with financing available. Andy has been in the automobile business for 30 years and over 10 years in Alma. Come experience the hometown friendly service at Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales. Like them on Facebook for the latest deals. For South Georgia has been changed to tomorrow night uh, because of the weather that's especially those in the the southwestern part of the state. I do know that there's a big game tonight between uh, between Coffee County and Valdosta, which had huge region implications. After Coffee lost last week to North Side of Warner Robins, that th kind of throws that region up in the air over there. And we're going for it. Screen. Screen, and we're wide open. Pick them, Xavius. Go straight north yep. and south. We're going to get a first down. No laundry. Don't see any laundry. Good play 49 call. seconds left. It's going to be a first down. Good that was a great call. play call. Great play and call. They bid on it. Hook, line, and sinker, Travis. Sure did. Brent Johnson up here in the box with us. That's the best call of the year. <laughs> kind of agree with him. <laughs> 40 seconds left. The clock is running. We got trips to the down here to the bottom. We got a single receiver to the top. He ought to be open on a slant. We're going to hand the ball off to Xavius. He's off to the races. We don't have any timeouts left. We're going to have to get on the get on in in a hurry. And we Whoa. do spike it. And that Whoa. should be a penalty that right there. Be. Should be a penalty. They didn't call it, Travis. We're going to have to throw it, and we're going to have to make sure that we don't. Well, I guess we can throw it as long as we get a first down. Yeah. We've come marching down the field. We're on the 20-yard line, 14 seconds left on Metters 20. We're going to have twins to the top, twins to the bottom. I see Angel Morales here in the in – the, uh, Right down the seam here for a touchdown. There he is. Cooper, look at him. Got touchdown. It. Got it. Angel Morales. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect. 25-yard pass. High fives to everybody yes, up High top. High five, baby. High five. There you like go. That, our red rider put six on the board. Man, I got a smile on my face. Mm. It's a good feeling, Travis. This Boy, is it a is real fun. good feeling. I like a touchdown. You got to be a touchdown hero. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be one of those songs that played when we would we would finish up our games and would play on the radio. You got to be a touchdown hero to get along with a beautiful girl. <laughs> hey. Ronaldo lines up. Cooper is catching it and puts it down and booyah. I mean. Kicks it. All the way. What's the only other side of matter? Swainsboro? They call it the jungle. He kicked it in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. We're going to take a quick, quick Burt CPA timeout. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's 
who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. automobile needs whether it's service body shop if you have parts needs Ford parts needs you can go see Matthew McEachin and his staff at Prince Ford Mercury 912-384-2600 not only do they have a, a full service department they've also got new Fords and a great used car department Prince Ford Mercury for all of your automobile needs where friends send friends all right are we going to do a poop kick here we're going to I would yeah Seven seconds left. Score is seven to Bacon. Seven to Nettie. He booms it. He Here's kicks it deep over their head. It's going to bounce into the. Oh. No, he gets it. No, he went into the That's end zone. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Boy, he was Flat. late to call that traffic. He was late to call it. I sure didn't want him no. zigzagging through this. You're either in the end zone or you're not. I yeah. can't waste the question. <laughs> You're right. We, we did go to our favorite. It's going to be 15 seconds on the clock now. All right. I want you to stay tuned for our Richmond Bacon halftime show where we uh, be be talking to our seniors. we got three seniors that we interviewed uh, this week. Uh, Javius Bell is one of them. Uh, J.T. Peterson is the other. Jamad Brinson, three of our big-time players that are here out here performing well for us tonight. They're going to take a knee. Uh, Metter is, and that's going to wind the clock all the way out. So we're going to take a half time. Your score is Bacon County 7, the good guys. Matter Tigers 7, the bad guys. When we come back, we'll uh, finish up this second half. And hopefully this big game with huge playoff implications, your Bacon County Red Raiders can complete it. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency.
you know, we're, we may not be, uh, have the best execution every single play, but we're not quitting, and we're getting after it. We're trying hard, and, you know, and eventually good things will happen. When you keep pushing hard and trying and, and stay focused, and like I said, you care about your teammates, good things will happen. And, and you know, right now, uh, you know, we're not 100% Red Raider football, but, Travis, we got seven points on the board. <laughs> you know, we've had some good things happen. You know, I pray and hope that we can continue that success here in the second half. And, you know, maybe in the halftime uh, in the locker room, coach made a few adjustments there to uh, that we can stop some of this run and, and, you know, coaching them up to come off those blocks and, and you know, and, and hopefully we can we can stop them and get the ball back here. And well, we've got to have points. momentum, Joe. After what we've done right at halftime, we're getting the ball back. We kicked off, and we're getting the ball back. And there's got to be a little bit of momentum on our side. That's right. If we've ever going to take momentum and seize the moment, now's the time to do it. And uh, the way they lined up, I don't know, kind of kind of a weird-looking kickoff formation in Prince Ford kickoff. They're going to pooch it again. Garrett yeah. Anderson's going to get it again. He's going to go straight up. And Garrett's got some speed, and uh, he brings it all the way up to about the 42-yard line of Bacon County. And he likes the contact. They they act like they hit him, but in all reality, yeah. the way it looked to me, he lowered his head and hit yeah. them. So that was about uh, a, what, a 16-yard, 18-yard return right there? That's right. Cooper Brown, you can just see a little bit of, you know, a little bit of hop in his step when he runs out here, senior quarterback. He knows this is for all the marbles. He huddles up his team around him. We're on the 42-and-a-half-yard line uh, of Bacon County going, uh, I guess you would call this going north. Got that uh, kind yep. of that wing T type look offset, and we turn and hand the ball off to Xavius, and he gets a crease, and uh, he's going to fall for about a three-yard gain. Their linebackers are cleaning up pretty good. They see what's happening. <clears throat> Cooper runs over to the sideline and gets the signals or gets the play from the coach, not the signals, gets the play from the coach, comes back. Let's see what we've got. We're going to split them out. We've seen a lot of T.J. Ham lined up in the backfield tonight. No, Travis, I think we missed an injury, and I just realized that somebody we've not seen tonight is Lawton Taylor. Right. Uh, He's had a uh, oh. – well, that was actually a good throw. He over, It looked like he overthrew it, but they had dropped a linebacker right dead in the path, so all he could do was overthrow it, or that was going to be a pick and possibly a pick six, so good play by Cooper. They had that They had that red from the moment we snapped the ball, looks like. I didn't – I haven't seen yeah, Lawton. He, uh, after the game, he was hurt, and he went home. Uh, he's, he had broke ribs. That was another one that he got home and got, a, you know, not feeling better over the weekend, and they carried him to the hospital. And well, I could he tell the way he, he he looked like Friday night. He was favoring. we got a one-on-one -on -one situation out here with Riley, and we're going to hand the ball off to Xavius, and he cuts it up, does all he can do, and he goes forward for about three yards, and that's going to be fourth down. It's going to be fourth on about the 49-yard line. We're going to bring out a punt team, and that's exactly what we need to do is bring out a punt team. It's going to be fourth and about. Uh, three and a half yards to go and we're on our own 48 and a half yard line Ronaldo comes out we need a good snap right here let him kick the ball away he's been kick it, kicking it away from uh, the return guys 10 minutes 18 seconds left they're not they're not setting up for a return. Good Ronaldo snap. gets it. He gets it off and he kicks it away. Their guy's going to take it. Oh, we missed. Oh, we and he saw the crease. We got one guy. And they're going to score. No laundry. The one thing we can't do. Of course, Ronaldo angled it, but he. We missed. We whiffed on it. We should have had him, and they let it. They let it score, uh, let him score. And just like that, it's 13 to seven on a long special teams error. Nine minutes and 40 seconds left. Metter takes it back. I don't know, that was about an 80 yard return, maybe a little bit longer. 
77, Travis. 77 yard return. Just getting an update, Trojans, Coffee Trojans are over in Valdosta at uh, Baysmore Hotter Field, and the score is Coffee 7, Valdosta 3. Travis, we jumped off sides here on the uh, uh, point after touchdown attempt, and they're going to move them half the distance to the goal. A little bit closer, they reset. Going to try to get the PAT. He got a load, snap. and he kicked it through anyway. He got it in there. That was a good kick by their kicker. And with nine minutes, 40 seconds left, one thing we couldn't do, man, we just we just can't. we got to keep it away from these people. And we kicked it, and it bounced up. He caught it in stride. We whiffed on him, missed the tackle, and they carried it all the way to the house. You're listening to 101.9 The Rocket. And uh, I don't have any ideas that they'll do anything different. They're going to pooch it over here to Garrett Anderson. They may try something to put a nail in the coffin early. But that's what he does. They kick it on side, and uh, we, we get on the ball. And we get it a little bit closer. We get it on about the 40-yard line. And a bad placement of the ball there. Come on, Riff. He was on this side of the 40. <laughs> I saw that too. And they placed it on the 40-yard uh, line. Yeah. And we're going to take the ball on the 40 with nine minutes and 38 seconds left. Cooper comes out. We got an answer. We got an answer right here. Got an answer in a hurry. Let's get this thing back to 0-0. Zero, zero. They're playing, what, four linebackers? Yep. Three down three. line. Well, now they pulled, yeah, three linebackers. And that line, their linebackers are just teeing off. We're not getting to the second level at all. They got us on that play right there. I, I think we've run that play pretty consistently on first down, and uh, that's the first time that they were pretty successful on stopping it. So We've not tried to go wide. Evidently, we don't feel like we can get wide on them. We've tried one time, and they blitzed from the edge, dropped us for a loss. We're missing Isaiah Grant. Uh, who, who's run a lot for us this year. Uh, we got a covered up receiver out top. I, I don't know if we're going to try to throw it or not. We're just, and they drop us, blitz a linebacker in and and drop us for a loss. And it's going to be third and about 12. Metter's got some momentum here, Travis. Uh, we got to do something. We, we're going to have to man up and, and overcome it because uh, we can't let them carry this momentum on us. Well, they grabbed it. Yep. Uh, they just grabbed it. They reached out and grabbed it on a special teams play. You know, we've had some outstanding moments in our special teams this year, but we've had some terrible moments yep. in our specials. Our special teams have, has been so inconsistent this year. Oh, I thought we caught it. Long pass, and we're going to punt again. It was actually a good pass. It looked like it just went through the hands of our receiver. Yeah. <laughs> I think it hit uh, their corner's hands first and made it put a little wobble on it there. And Did it? Yep. He was unable to come down with it. I just don't, I just don't see us not being competitive with this team. I just don't see. I don't, I don't understand why we're not being really competitive and taking it to them. I feel like we could just take it to them and punish them right here. We just can't. We just can't seem to catch a rhythm. Fourth and eleven from our our own thirty nine yard line. We need to do something we hadn't done, which is kick it away. Good snap. 
He oh. kicks it and terrible kick. And we try to do a, a I don't know what you call that. Uh, we kick it and it's going to 13, 14 yard kick, 15 maybe. Maybe. Looks like they're going to take over on 49 yard line. So it was a 10 yard kick. Yep, 10 yard kick. Well, no, it's their 49, so it's yeah. a 12 yard kick. 12 yard kick, and Matter takes over midfield. And if we're not careful, this is going to get away from us right here. We better we better come up with a stop or something. And uh, oh, he slipped through, and there, there he goes. Is. No, Xavius not drives him and brings him down at the, about the seven yard line. <laughs> Even when our guy was grabbing him, they had somebody on our guy that was driving him in the ground. Yeah. I mean, they, they're just blocking and tackling, you know. Xavius come flying over, but we've got to stop them. They're on their on our seven yard line, and they've come out here, and when. We had the opportunity to seize momentum. We let them seize it. That's right. Seven minutes and 16 seconds left. They turn and hand it to 33. We got him if we'll stop him. And we drag him down for about a two-yard gain. And he's on the five-yard line. We need a turnover. We need something big to happen right here. We sure do. We need something to swing the old Mo. If we get two, if we get two scores down, the way they've been stopping us offensively, we're going to be in a mess. Well, Travis, that back right there—if you notice—he's running with his heads down, with his head down. He was looking at the ground and uh, trying to sneak around that corner. And uh, one thing about that—you keep your head down on the ground. Somebody's going to come in there and light him up. And we're going to. Well, he does fall forward for about a two-yard gain. Boy, he's a heavy lean. And he's got about, what about the one-yard line? I don't see where they spot it. Maybe the two. Yep. About on the, the two-yard two line. It's going to be third and third and goal. Yep. Ball on the two. Man, we need we need somebody to break through right here. Somebody to jump a snap count or something. We need to jump a snap count. We better get set. We held him. We did. Yeah, I don't. I just wonder if they're going to kick it, go up ten. They're going to try to go for it, and we stop him for a no gain. Good play. I don't know who that was. That was, was that Bodie. Yeah, that was Bodie Metters. Metters got him, and then uh. Trey Mobley kind of put his arms around him right there at the end as he's trying to fall forward and pulled, pulled him back. This is huge. This is huge. This could be our season right here. Four I know we got goal. a lot of football, but they have figured us out offensively, and we just can't get anything going. And they got that number three, number 33 come off. They're calling a timeout. They're going to call a timeout. We're going to take a Burt CPA timeout. You're listening to at Family Vision Care, we believe life is all about your vision. Family Vision Care is the leading provider of optometry services and vision care products in the Alma community, and we want to help you achieve and maintain a clear vision for years to come. Doctors James McQuaig and Blake Hutto and their staff provide award-winning eye care service for Southeast Georgia. With the newly constructed office filled with state-of-the-art equipment, they can diagnose and correct your vision with detailed accuracy. Visit www.fvcalma.com. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks to Paul uh, Sullivan, station manager there. The score we had, coffee 7-3 to three over Valdosta. Both teams are still huddled up. They're breaking the huddle now. It's fourth down and two, and it looks like Metter is going to go for it. This is huge, a huge play. Travis, it looks like Vidalia and Toombs, it's 20 to nothing. 20 to nothing. Yeah, Vidalia. Vidalia, 20 to nothing over Toombs. Uh, there's a lot of rivalries 
in high school football, but I don't know that there's any more hated and heated rivalry than Valdosta and team. They're going to turn and pitch it, and he's going to walk in. Just like that, the score is 20. Metter 20, Bacon County 7. They've just pounded it, pounded it, pounded it. Hey, man. Yeah. Okay. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent. And the company that stands behind them. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Nothing happened. We just dropped signal, but we're back. Uh, Metter did tack on the extra point, and with your Prince Ford kickoff, uh, we do recover it on the 45-yard line, uh, our own 45-yard line. But, uh, Metter's not going to give us anything deep, so we have opportunity to break it on special teams. And um, right now, if I had to, if I had to say what the difference has been, it's been a punt That's right. that they took to the house that kind of took the wind out of us, and then a long play. And we're we just uh, and we we're our, reeling. Yep, we got our shoulders drooped a little bit, our heads. But uh, I, I want to see some fight here from our Red Raiders, and let's see what we can do on this series. Uh, need some of this leadership to step up, these seniors, and uh, let's take us on down the field. High snap, hand the ball off to Xavius. He tries to break it. He gets two or three yards. And um, it's getting a little chippy down there uh, in the trenches, Travis. Yeah, it is getting a little chippy. It's about a yard and a half gain. We're on the, well, let's just say 46 yard line, about a yard gain. Cooper gets the plays, comes back in. And. We've got, we're trying to establish the run. We've had some success running the ball, but uh, they're daring us to throw the ball now. We've had some success, just a little success throwing it. But we got to get, and we're going to turn and hand it off, and they just meet us in the hole. They're blitzing and bringing everything. They're not showing any regard whatsoever to our running game or our ability to throw the football. Bringing Angel Morales back in. And it's going to be third and about nine. Third and nine. We're on our 46-yard line. We were on the other side of the 46 a minute ago. Now we're on our side of the 46. Our own 46. We've got twins to the top and to the bottom. This is the play. Well, this is the set we scored a touchdown on. And we're going to run Angel down the seam. And we throw it out to Xavius. And he's trying. We just whiffed on a block out wide, and he gets about a five-yard gain. But it's going to be fourth down on the 50, fourth on the 50-yard line. It's going to be fourth and five. We're going to punt. Yeah, we're going to punt it. Two minutes and 55 seconds left. See if they put in bring any pressure on this punt now. When we whiff the last one. They did. But we got off a good punt. Oh! Finally dropping. Great play by Shamad Brinson. And where we whiff last time, we didn't whip, we didn't whip whiff this time. We took his legs out from underneath him and he uh 
He's struggling coming off the field, Travis. Yeah, I hope he's okay. I yeah. don't like to see him grab those knees. Maybe it's just got a shin there, what it looks like. He's grabbing his shin. Yeah, they're going to call a timeout. We're going to take a Burt CPA injury timeout. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. You know, you got 1,200 poles down uh, over there, and I mean, it, 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 Travis, it takes a while to set a pole. Yeah. So when you got 1,200 poles down, that, that's, uh, that's a pretty big uh, task to overcome by all these guys. And we pray for all our emergency workers and those people uh, during these times that they all stay safe. Well, and they're working very hard and with REA and Pike and some of the other power companies that we have. A lot of our guys from Alma, a lot of people from Alma, men and women, both work. Uh, and they they, they kind of do a, a draw-type play here where we, uh, old, what we used to call the old-fashioned cross buck, and we stop him in the hole for about a three-yard gain. So it's going to be third and seven. So they're Third starting and seven. to play a little conservative here, Travis. And uh, anyway, so far, uh, defense has made some pretty big stops. And we got a third and s seven. With a minute left Ball in the third quarter, yeah. Matters 20. Anyway, a, a lot of our people from Alma are work, working with the power industry. And our prayers are them. I know we've got a lot of people in our church it's not going to be there this weekend or possibly the weekend after because they're doing power line work to try to restore. They're going to step back and try to throw it. And we're going to get him. He throws the ball. It should be intercepted. Did he catch it? No. No, incomplete. And it's going to be a fourth down. They are surely not making many holding calls uh, in the trenches right there, Travis. Fourth down at about seven from uh, – where is it? The 20-yard 20 20. line? Yep. The 20-yard line or the 15? So we'll probably. 16-yard line looks like from their 16-yard line. Put this is the only second punt I think we've seen tonight. J.P. Peterson back. I hope he doesn't let this ball roll. Let's see what kind of leg the punter for uh, Metter has. We should be getting the ball close to inside. Oh, and He yes. shanks it. We just don't need to let it hit us. Pick it up, Ham. 
What in the world? They call it dead. Thank the good, good Lord in heaven. Gracious. And they're all, they're going to kill the clock. They keep waving the clock off, and it keeps running. It was probably at least 10 seconds to run off the clock. We got nine seconds left, and we got a good opportunity here. That was not but about a 15-yard punt, and we're on our own, or on Metters 28-yard line. Our coach is calling for a uh, for a clock adjustment. I guarantee when the whistle blew, there was about 10 seconds that rolled off the clock. He's going to ask for a couple of or some more time to be put back on the clock. That's what they're asking for. There were, I, I'm saying there was 10 seconds at least, at least that rolled off. And they're going to come over here and make an adjustment. I don't know if they're going to adjust it on the clock or they're not going to do nothing. Maybe they're not going to start the clock. They put 15, put it to 15 okay. seconds. So they added uh, nine seconds or eight seconds back. Right. Eight seconds. We scored. We hand the ball off to Xavius. He's got a crease. Takes it up the middle. Xavius fighting and gets down to about the 15-yard line. About a 12-yard run, Travis. Yes. Big run by Xavius Bell. Six seconds left. Six seconds left. It's going to be first down. He cranks the clock, and we're going to run out right here and go into the fourth quarter. We're going to take a Burt CPA timeout. You're listening to Red Radio Radio on 101. Welcome back, everybody. Cooper looks to field over, brings Angel Morales in motion. He stops and goes back the other way. We hand it to Xavius, and he's right back up the middle again. He gets smoked, but after a five-yard gain, we'll take it. If you're going to get hit, make sure you gain yardage while you're doing it. Travis, there's not many people tougher than Xavius Bell. No. I'll tell you what, you see how he reminds me of Noach Johnson, the great old uh, play with the dogs, how quick he gets up after the hit. And right. He took a very chance to get Brady McKinnon, and I mean, he immediately got up off the field, and he let him know that uh, he didn't put a mark on him at that point. <laughs> about a, about a six-yard gain is going to be second and four. They spread out a little bit. Cooper turns. He throws inside. He just and he gets smoked by a blitzing linebacker, and uh, he just threw it wide to Wiley. Jordan uh, actually was ahead of him. Travis, he, he, he kind of threw in front of him a little bit too much. We got to have it right here. We got to have this score. 11 minutes and 14 seconds left. Time stops with a pass. It's been a very quick half. We've not even played, we've not played two hours yet. Foul off the 23. Coffee County 7. Not even halftime yet. Wow. Huge play for us here. Turn to hand it off to Xavier. He goes up the middle. It's going to be close to a first down where they're marking it from across the field. It looks like he did get a first down. Great play by Xavier. On this side of the field, we were yards from the end zone. We got it. First Travis. down. We got it. First, first and uh, goal from the five. 11 minutes dead up. Plenty of time. We can score right here. Get the extra point. Hold them. What That's going to be the key. Yeah. Xavius on that run right there, Travis. 
They've got to be able to take advantage of their own pursuit, and that, that, that forms a lane a lot of times backside. If they see you going right, everybody's pursuing right. If you cut back to your left, you can find a, a lane sometimes, and that's what happens. They're going to hand the ball off to Peterson. He's got some room. He's going to get in. He put it on the pylon. Nope. I'm going to call him out right inside the one-yard line. No, on about the one-yard line, if, if I can see it right. Yeah. He must have stepped out before he uh, put the ball on the pile. Line. Great play call. I don't know that that's, I believe that's the first time JT's toted the ball yeah. all year from a running position. We bring in some more players going for broke right here. Second down and goal from the one. Bring Anderson in. Let's see who he's going to smoke. We've got big Trey Mobley in, too. We handed to Javius Bell. He falls forward. I don't know if he fumbled it. I believe if Cooper, if Cooper would just keep the ball, everybody's piling in to Javius. I believe he just got walked in. They are going to mark it inside the one yard line. Just inside the one yard line. So we got about. Cooper and probably 12 inches. Yeah, Cooper needs to pull it right here. And there's Xavius just walks in. Untouched. Great play. Touchdown, Bacon. That's what I'm talking about, Travis. That's right. Six points. Here we come, guys. Here we come. Nine minutes and 39 seconds left. Left here on the foot of Ronaldo Juarez. Going to be kicking from the 10-yard line, kicking an extra point. We need something big, something big. They've not turned the ball over, even though we've had opportunities to intercept it. But uh, as I was talking to, to somebody at halftime, there's been a couple of times they should have had interference. Good snap, good kick, boom, Juarez bangs it through. With nine minutes and 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter, your score, Metter 21, Bacon 14. You're listening to Red Raider Radio on 101. Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales is located US 1 South in Alma, Georgia. Andy specializes in late model cars and trucks with financing available. Andy has been in the automobile business for 30 years and over 10 years in Alma. Come experience the hometown friendly service at Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales. Like them on Facebook for the latest deals. It's nothing personal. It's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal. Because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. We had a couple of things happen our way and uh, got the ball on the 45-yard line on a, on a somewhat of an onside kick by Metter. And uh, then a play or two later, we're, we're knocking on the door. Ronaldo uh, lines it up, and let's see what he does. He's going to bang it deep. Gonna kick it over their head to drive him into the end zone. Yes. No, he no, he calls it dead. Yep. And they're gonna take it on the 20 or 25 yard line. Travis, what happened on that was the punt. That's right. That's it what was it was. The punt. That's what uh, it was. So bad uh, punt. Yep. Had a bad punt, and Red Raiders took advantage of it. Had good field position, and were able to capitalize and score. That was it. You got it. Nine minutes, 36 seconds left, and on the 20 yard line, Metter is gonna take the kickoff and. Uh, on their own 20, and this is huge. We need to stop them right here. Yeah, because they are going to run time off of this clock if we cannot keep them uh, from making these first downs. And we got a dead, what's they call, offside against us. Offside on us. Well, that doesn't help. Nope. Gives them a shorter field. 
We must have jumped. I didn't see it. Did you see it? I didn't see it. We well, either lined up. I was watching down on the bottom side here, and uh, one of our linebackers jumped, but he wasn't even up on the line. And I don't know if he was keying in off one of our linemen up there. It's going to be first and five from the 25. They hand the ball off to that big fullback. We drop him or tackle him after about a two-yard gain. It's going to be second and about three. They're calling two. I'm yeah. calling three. It looks more like two now that they've got it spotted. Three-yard gain. Second and two. Travis. Time for them to cough it up. I don't see a uh, a play clock here, so it's kind of hard to tell how much time they're trying to milk off. They hand it, and we hit him in the hole. He does get a first down. He's on the 31-yard line. Gains three yards. It's going to be first and 10 from the 31 with eight minutes and 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Both Cooper and the quarterback from Metter need to join the cross-country team when this season's over. <laughs> they both of them run back into the sideline to get the, get the plays. We don't need to go sleepy out here with those tailbacks. And they oh. preach it. There it is. And we, we get the it. ball. We yes. got it. <laughs> they turn and pitch it, and we pick it up. Who was that? Ethan was that Moore. Ethan Moore grabs it. Oh, and wow. Big what play. a big play. Big play. Big play. That's exactly what we've been yep. calling. Eight minutes and 11 seconds left, and we have the ball on Metters, tw inside Metters' 25-yard line. First and 10, Bacon. I had to open the window, get a little fresh air in here. Nice press box in Metter, by the way. One of the Ethan, nice ones. That was Ethan Moore, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Ethan Moore. That's exactly right. We got twins to the top and to the bottom. Long setback is Xavius Bell. Cooper looks it over. They're shifting. Xavius shifts over to the left. They're going to turn and hand the ball off to him. He's got a little bit of a crease, and he's still banging forward by far the most productive game that, that Xavius has had, and a lot of it he has done right by himself. This senior does not want to stop. He's got no stop in him. He's Nine-yard gain. Second and one. On the, and they're beginning to grab their arms and shoulders. We're on the 16-yard line, Metter 16-yard line. Plenty of time, 740 left. Trips to the bottom, single setback to, or single receiver to the top. Turn, we're going to hand the ball. No, he goes straight up and gets about a half-yard gain. It's going to be third and a half-yard. Xavius is laying there. It may just be from sheer exhaustion. He plays cornerback yeah. on the defense, too. He's limping a little bit. Might be a good time to call a timeout right here. He roll his ankle up a little bit, or maybe he got shot on the shin. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes, or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. Auto Owners Insurance. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Third and one, third and one. We don't have, we're bringing in Anderson. It looks like he's going to line up in the tailback position. The only thing that scares me about this, and I sure don't want to jinx it, is Anderson hasn't run the ball all year long. Right. But we're just so beat up. And he hands the ball to him, and he falls forward for a first down. He's going to be a hair short. See. 
52 with John Alvin on the tackle. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Yeah, he is a little short. Yep. Fourth, down and one. Fourth and one. Fourth and a foot. Don't need to jump right here. I'm like you, uh, Travis uh, Cooper, with keep this ball here. And, oh, yeah. He gets a first down. Four Anderson gets the first down, first down, first down. Here comes. I don't know how Xavier's going to be able to run the way he's doing, coming back off the field. He barely can walk. But that shows you how much heart he's got. That's right. We're calling the plays from the sideline. Big Trey Mobley runs off. Garrett Anderson runs off. Cooper runs back on with the play. We've brought some new players back onto the field. We're inside the 14-yard line. We're on uh, the 15-yard line on about the 14, first and 10. We can get a first down on about the four-yard line. Got twins to the top and to the bottom. Got to be careful with these uh, outside passes here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, touchdown, <laughs> J.P. Peterson. J.P. Peterson catches the ball and meets the safety at the goal line and goes through him. And he leaves an impression. Would that be what you would say? I would he, say he would left an impression. impression. <laughs> Touchdown, Bacon County. Five minutes and 48 seconds left, and we've come storming back. And I'd have to say momentum's on our side because Joe Bordeaux's running in the kicker ball. And we're going to take the game ball and throw it to the sideline, bring in the ball that we kicked. Ronaldo's lining up for the biggest extra point of this season. Need a good snap and a good hold right here. Great pass by Cooper to J.P. Peterson. Booyah. It's good. Looked like he pushed it a little bit to the right, but it was good. I'll take it. All so with five eight. minutes and 48 seconds left, how about this? Bacon over here in Metter. Bacon County Red Raiders 21. Metter 21. You're listening to Red Raiders. opportunity to return it. Our special team scared me to death. Ronaldo approaches the ball. He's thinking to pound it, you can tell. And he pooches it. He's not going to take any chance, and they call a fair catch. They call a fair catch at the 25-yard line. That was a great play by Ronaldo. Great play by our special teams. Metter takes over at their 25-yard line with 5 minutes and 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This game has flew by, my friend. Travis, we got a ball game. Got a ball game. Zero to zero. Nothing to nothing. Two timeouts for each team. Five minutes and 43 seconds left in this game. We need a big play. We need to stop them right here and get the ball back. This is huge for us. I don't want to go into overtime at home. They hand the ball off, and Trey Mobley grabs him as he goes through. Trey's getting fired up, about a two-yard gain. Going to be second and eight from the 27-yard line. <laughs> we can just keep this firing intensity every play, Travis, and keep the min uh, mistakes to a minimal. That's right. Force them uh, to have to punt here. That's uh, exactly what we want. And it's unusual. I don't see a play clock. No, I, I know. And that's that's unusual. Most most high school fields have play clocks. 
They're in the same position they've been on. They're going to turn the hand off. And we got to grab him, and we do. It's Mobley again. Shamad Brinson comes up, smokes the guy. And it's going to be third down and a short five. Third down and a short five. About four and a half. Big play for the defense right here. It's almost five yards. They've got to get just over, just over the 35 yard line for it to be a first down. Huge play right here, huge play. Come on, Bacon. He turns and he hands it oh, off and he's my. off to the races. And Michael, our safety comes up and makes a stop at about uh, their 45 yard line. It was a big play for them. Thank God for Mason Michael, he comes up and makes a good stop. But they run the play and they uh, they break the crease when you're selling out and you don't hit the hole just right. And Travis, they got a kicker. Yeah, so he's pretty good. He's, he's pretty, pretty good, but good, we got so one too. That's right, but we <laughs> cannot let them get in field goal territory here. Right. I see what you're saying. They're going to run time off this clock. And they can try to kick the field goal. Oh. Fumble. They fumble it. They Maybe. fall back on it. That's okay. It's not okay, but we wish it hadn't. But mix up in the backfield. They put the ball on the ground. Their coaches, about like us, about to have a heart attack. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They're on their own 45-yard line. No gain. That looked like a loss to me. It did to me too. But it looked like about a yard loss. I don't understand that. I really don't understand that spot, to be honest with you, friends. Well, I think what happened there is the, the quarterback was under center, and he fell to his knee, and the running back tried to take it from, from there and, and dropped it. But Oh, man. oh, there he goes. Hey. Looks like another first down. Yep. That could have been a fumble. I think, I think C.J. Preston come and stripped the ball and came up with the ball in his hands, yeah. but they called it. They, they give it to him. him yeah, they ruled him down. First down on the 34-yard line of Bacon. Three minutes left. We need to stop. We need something huge. We need something big right here. We need something to happen. We need the football gods to smile on us right here. We blow it up and... He's just stepping out. This guy's got a little bit of steam. This number three, or is that 33? Number three, he's running the ball hard. And uh, it, it's going to be second and one. Travis, they're, they're pretty much in field goal territory now. And number three, he's hobbling all big 33, which is no better. What I mean no better, he's no better for us. He's a big bruising back, too. Not real big, but just low center of gravity, big thighs. Hard to tackle, hard to get your arms on them. Have to tackle them low. They'll run right through an arm tackle. 211. Turn and hand it off that big fullback. We Trey Mobley drags him down with one arm or he he's walking into the end zone. Yep. It's gonna be first down. And where are they at? On the 20 yard line, 19 yard line. About a 35 or 36 yard field goal from here, 37 maybe. They're getting it set up. We're gonna take a timeout. We've had a, they've had a couple of bursts, and here comes their kicker, and he's running down here to start warming up. We try to stop the clock. We've got to have a stop. They've got three plays right here without a fumble or something happening. they got three plays, and I don't know what you do here. Yeah. 
I don't think they're going to put the ball in the air, not the way they've been running it. Right. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense, Travis. Nope. And we stop him. We got one timeout left. And they're just going to mark it on and let it go on down. They're going to try to stay in the middle of the field for their kickers, what I think they're going to do. Yep. Hoping they can get a crease. The last time they tried to pitch it, they laid it on the ground. I'm sure their coach doesn't want to do anything like that. Only but thing we can if he does it and connects with it, he's probably going to go in untouched because we're selling out to stop it in the middle. See what happens here. They got single receivers to the top and the bottom. They're going to hand it. Oh, there he goes. He's in. He's going to be in. No, we're going to stop him. We're going to stop him at about the six yard line. Yep. Did he get out of bounds? It's going to be a first down. We're going to have to go. We're just going to have to stop them. I don't know at this point. I'm about like Brent at this point. Let them score, and at least you have an opportunity to come back. But where it is right here, unless they fumble the ball or something happens, we're going to run out of time. Yep. And they run the ball down to the one-yard line. Big fullback behind big offensive line. 101 left. We're going to call our last timeout with a minute left. And I really don't know what to do right here except let them score and hopefully. Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales is located US 1 South in Alma, Georgia. Andy specializes in late model cars and trucks with financing available. Andy has been in the automobile business for 30 years and over 10 years in Alma. Come experience the hometown friendly service at Andy Cawthorn Auto Sales. Like them on Facebook for the latest deals. snap or something right here. We're just praying for a miracle. Their quarterback may try to sneak it in. We're going to drop him for a loss. And they stop him at the two-yard line. I don't know if that helps us or hurts us, Travis. Well, they're going to crank it on down. Yeah. one yard off to bring up third down and goal. Third and goal. Still make a mistake. 41 seconds, 40 seconds. They're going to let it go down, yeah. and then they're going to call a timeout. What a nail biter. <laughs> Quite a football game, good high school football game over here. So with 22 seconds left, score 21-21, we're gonna take a Burt CPA timeout. Stay tuned. It's nothing personal, it's just business. Hello? That's how some people do things. Right away. To us, everything we do is personal because anyone can answer the call. It's who shows up that matters most. That's the quality of your independent agent and the company that stands behind them. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes or if your neighbor has the same insurance that you do. What matters right now is the quality of your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them. 
Auto Owners Insurance. Bennett Bennett and Johnson Insurance Agency in Alma is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. It's tough to go in by Austin. Man, by Austin. you're telling me. This is a play of the game, 22 seconds left, and it's third and two. Oh, they jump. False start. All right. Gonna back him up. What about Garrett Anderson coming off the edge to block a kick? Yep. He's, uh, He's got to be close to leading the state, I tell you what. <laughs> Definitely in block punts. I'd line him up and I'd line the next speediest guy up on the inside of him. And I'd bring him from the edge. When they go to hit him, that should free our guy up. Oh, and we give it back to him. But I think it's going to be better on us because it's half the distance, and they're not going to get quite back what we give them. It's back on the three-yard line, looks like to me. 21 seconds left. There was a second that clicked off. We stop him. And they're going to call a timeout. It's going to be not much more than an extra point, to be honest with you. They're going to call it with about three seconds left. With two seconds left, they're going to call a timeout. We're going to stay right here. It comes down to the field goal. And all we can do is hope for a bad snap or somebody flying in and blocking the field goal to send this thing into overtime. Well, Joe, you can say we've come over here and left it all on the field. We have. They have played their hearts out. Yep. And, you know, Travis, you can go back and look at this game and say, what could we do different or what could have we have done different? But, you know, it, it's been tit for tat. Two Most seconds time. left. 20-yard field goal attempt. And their kicker's pretty good. And the kick is down, and he nails it right through the middle. That's going to be your ball game. Metter wins 24 to 21. And they are dogpiling their kicker. They need to be careful with him. I thought I saw a flag. There's no flag. That's the ball game. Bacon County's over, come over here and suffered a tough loss. We really fought hard, but in the end, we couldn't stop their running game that last drive. And uh, I'd like to say that, uh, you know, a penalty or something like that is what uh, caused them to continue to drive, but in all reality, that